Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and this is my video series on practical JavaScript, where I walk you through the challenges at freecodecamp.com. In this video, we're going to tackle the fourth uh, challenge in the intermediate section, Where Art Thou? Uh, it's a little tricky, but um, with our um, with our step-by-step -step problem solving and our can-do attitudes, uh, we can get down to it, make it uh, no big deal. So let's understand the challenge first. Make a function that looks through an array of objects and returns uh, an array of all objects that have matching property and value pairs. Um, each object and pro uh, each property and value pair of the source object has to be present in the object from the collection if it is to be included in the returned array. All right, so we have two arguments, collection, and it is an array of objects. So that's our first uh, argument right here. You can see it's an array because we have the square brackets and then each item in the array is an object because it has the curly braces. And uh, remember, uh, this is a key. That's a key too. We sometimes call them properties. And then these are the strings uh, and the, they are values. So this is a key value pair, another key value pair. So two, uh, two pairs in this object. So um, this is our final um, argument here, the source object. And in the example, there's only one key value pair in the source object, but for the other test, um, there could be multiple pairs in the source object. So just keep that in mind. So we want to return an array of all objects that have the same key value pairs as the source object. So we only have one pair in the source object here. We want to find the last name of uh, Capulet. I guess that's Capulet. So um, if we look here in the first object, all right, we do have a last key, but it's Montag, not Capulet. And if we look here in the second object, we have a last key again, but it's null. There's nothing in there. Uh, and then we look at the um, final object. It has the last key and it matches the value to Capulet. So um, in this function, um, it would return an array with this object inside of it because it passes, um, in, uh, it passes the test and it matches everything in this source object. So. Uh, we're going to use the filter method, and you're quite familiar with that. Uh, we've used it um, a number of time and, uh, times in uh, the other challenges. Uh, we're also going to use another method called every. I might have shown you that already. Um, I can't remember, um, but, uh, but anyway, um, it, it would be a good for a refresher to use it in this challenge. So I already uh, created a JavaScript file and embedded it here on line 11 in the example.html file. Um, and if you're following along, you can open that uh, example.html file and, um, and make sure you have your JavaScript console opened up right there in the Chrome browser. Chrome is really great because they have awesome developer tools. Okay, so um, before I show you anything, I just want to briefly explain again what that uh, every method is. Um, so if I have an array of integers, let's see, 2, 3, 4, 12, uh, 56, 75, dot every. All right, it takes uh, an anonymous function as an argument. And kind of like filter, we need a return. And I'm going to say uh, item is greater than 10. Okay, I'm going to save that. Uh, what do you think we're going to get returned? Think about that. Okay, kind of looks similar to a filter method, doesn't it? So let's see what we get. We get a false. Okay, so one thing you need to know the every method. Uh, returns a Boolean value, true or false. And we're going to use that with the filter method because uh, we have to pass a Boolean value to the filter method in order to filter out the array and only create a new array with, uh, with the items that pass a test. So uh, these two things go very well together. Um, basically, it's saying, hey, does every item 
in this array pass this test? Uh, and the answer is no. Okay, um, 12 and 56 and 75, they are greater than 10, but 2, 3, and 4 are not. So not every item in this array passes the test, so it returns false. Now, if I just uh, change that to 1 and save it, go back to the page and refresh the page, I get a true. Why? Because every item in this array is greater than 1. We have 2, 3, 4, 12, 56, 75, and um, all the tests pass, so every returns true. And since we're using the uh, filter, um, the filter method, um, uh, yeah, we need to give it some sort of Boolean value, some sort of test, true or false. So um, that's why we're going to use these together. One more thing I'm going to show you. Um, maybe I've shown this before. I can't remember whether I have or not. It's called object.keys. Let me let me show you what happens. So um, collection. No, I'm not going to show you collection. Uh, I'm going to show you source. Well, let me show you collection. I just need to show you one object. All right, I'm going to show you um, the first object in the collections array. And what will I get if I do this? Okay, I get an array of the key uh, of the keys of that object. So I have one object. It's the first object from the collections array. Here it is. And this is a key first. This is another key last. And as you can see, I have an array of the keys or the properties from that object. And they're represented as strings. So um, I'm going to use that uh, just so you know that's what it is. This is going to create an array, an array of strings. And those strings are keys of an object. So let's get started uh, by uh, creating an array of keys from the source, from the source object, the second argument. I'm going to call it source keys object.keys not source. Okay. And for the first example, uh, there's only one object, uh, or there, there's only one key value pair in that object. So uh, we're only going to get one string. Um, in this source keys array. Uh, for the other tests in free code camp, there are going to be multiple key value pairs in that source object. So just keep that in mind. All right, we're going to use the filter method. So let's go ahead and return collection. Remember, we're filtering the collection method. Um, we're filtering the collection array, rather. And so we want to filter out anything that doesn't have the same key and value as the source object. So return collection filter it needs an anonymous function and oops um let's see oops, I screwed some, something here there we go I'm just going to call it obj for object okay and remember the filter needs uh, some sort of like test uh, that returns like a true or a false um, so it knows what to filter out and what not to filter out. So that's where our every method comes in. So return, and I'm going to say source keys dot every. Okay, give that another anonymous function. I'm going to give it the argument of key. Okay. And uh, remember, uh, every, it also needs a return statement inside of it. So I'm going to say return. And uh, this looks kind of funky, but it's absolutely normal. We have like three return statements, and they kind of look beautiful in, uh, in this like diagonal sort of uh, uh, pattern right here. But anyway, uh, return. OK, uh, so what do we have to return? Well, first, the, the object represented here, okay, and that's one of the objects from the array, it needs to have uh, the key uh, from the source. Um, and it needs to have all of the keys from the source. So I'm going to say um, object has own property key. Okay, so 
um, basically what that means is, hey, this object here does every object, okay, that does it have uh, all of the keys, uh, does, does every key value pair in this object have the same keys as the source object? Okay, that's, that's what we're asking here. So that's the first test. Does every object, and the object is the current object that we're iterating through, does every key in this object, is it also present in the source object? Okay, or, or rather, is every key in the source object present in this object? Okay, I'm kind of getting it mixed up, um, but I think you know what I mean. And then also, does it have the same value? So is object key the same as the source key? Okay, and I'm going to save that. And as I showed you earlier, I should get an array with one object back in it, and it should be that one. So let's save it. Let's go to the developer tools. I get an object. There's uh, an array. I got an array. There's one object in that array. And sure enough, it's the correct object that I'm looking for. So if I go ahead and if I copy and paste my code, it's a free code camp. You come over here. How much time do I have left? I got enough time. Let's do that. Run it. And sure enough, the world rejoices and Stephen rejoices too. That is a pretty awesome feeling. So let's just run through it one more time. Okay, so I have this second argument. It is an object. Right now there is one key value pair, but for the other test, there could be um, more uh, key value pairs. So I create an array called source keys, and uh, it is literally just an array of the keys from this second argument from the source object. Now we're filtering the collection. The collection is the first argument and it's an array of objects. So we got to filter out all of the crap that we don't need. So that's why I'm calling it on the collection array. And I am using the uh, every, the every method right here. And remember right now, uh, every has uh, one key in it, okay, or every is testing for, for one key. So I'm calling the every method on this source key array, and that source key array has one string in it last, <clears throat> okay? And this is going to return a Boolean, a true false. And if it returns true, then it's going to return this object into the newly filtered object, uh, newly filtered array. And if this every method returns false, um, it, it's going to just filter it out. It's not going to add it to the newly filtered array. So object has own property key. Okay. And, um, and we only have one key in here, but basically does this object right here, does it have the keys, all of the keys represented in the source key array? Sorry, checking the time. All right, plenty of time. Does it have all of those keys? Yes, yes, it does. True. And does object.key, so in this case, last and Montag, all right, is it equal to the source key? In this case, Capulet. Okay, no, filtered out. Okay, does this object, does it have the key last? Yes, it does. Is it equal to the value? No, it's not. Okay, final object in the array. Does it have the key last? Does it have the property last? Yes, it does. And does the object key last? Capulet, is it the same value as the source key uh, last? Yes, it does. That returns true. Let's return that to the filtered array. And that's how it basically happens. Okay, guys, uh, that's all the time that we have in this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for improvement, please write them in the comments below. That's all for now, and bye-bye.